a man complete to Cedric Wilson. And they will stop him short. They get him to the ground at the 27. No first down. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. Fielded just inside the 20. A good return there, 17 yards. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger drive about to get going. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. They may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. After one on EA Sports. First down, and it's Pollard again. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Give the tackle there to Key on crossing. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure you're back. You spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300 plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Back to throw here, Herbert. Yeah, that one's gonna be knocked away. And incomplete. That's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. This one angles out of bounds in a good spot in the coffin quarter. They're going to mark this out on a five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they will begin with, should we call it, far from ideal starting field position, their own two-yard line. So what's your definition of ideal? The one-yard line on the other side of the field. Yes, exactly right. So yes, your definition is apropos in this case. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. It's Tongue of Iloa from his own end zone. And that falls to the ground, incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Over the dime, worked on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. From his own end zone, Tongue of Iloa, third and long. He's going to look deep down the field. He's got a man, complete. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. But today's NFL, you know, we talk about quarterbacks and their speed and accuracy, but there's still something about a guy slinging one downfield. Well, one way or the other, you knew they'd have to push the ball downfield on third and long, but I'm not sure the defense was expecting to push it that far downfield. Their math didn't add up, but it certainly did for the offense. On first and ten, it's Mostert. And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. On first down, they go with Mostert again. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. 
It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped down and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? On second and seven, Tua. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Right side, past the 20. And he brings this one back. It's a pick six and a Charger TD. And we'll see if that pick six looms large as this game continues, because we've seen plays like that alter a lot of playoff contests over the years. I would agree with that totally. You often think to yourself, why do they alter it so much? Because after games, don't we hear coaches and players say, well, one play doesn't usually determine the outcome. But I don't think that's really true, do you? Because there's times when we see plays like that, and all of a sudden the momentum jumps to that team side, it deflates the other side, and they never pick it back up. And then things really go from there, don't they? That's the thing for me. We talk about momentum changes. A play like that is the ultimate momentum change. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not have the balls go through goal posts. To throw again on second down, Tua. And he'll be upended at the 33, following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Now a play fake. Here's Tugum Iloa. And it's out. He put it on the carpet. And picked up by the Chargers. We have seen this before. And we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. Eventually wrangled down before reaching the 20, but a strong run. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here's Pollard again. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on divisional round weekend. In danger of squandering their great field position as they come up on a third and seven. Now it's Herbert. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover, and they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. Here's Herbert. Flush to his right. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here. This close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Call it a gain of two as they're knocking on the door now. Third and goal. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here. Brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high-stakes situation. If he doesn't make a play on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice gain downfield. 
Blankenship's kick is good. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. Tua now on first down. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They fake the handoff, now Tua. And that's going to be too high, out of bounds and incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing now is Tugavailoa. And that will be incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Charger drive about to get going. And we'll see how much they want to push things, leading already here 10-3. to Oh, it's intercepted. He was trying to get it to Ridley. Picked up by Javon Holland. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. But in a tight game like this, that could be an incredibly important pick six, CD. And remember, it cancels out the one that the opposition had earlier in this ball game. You're right about that, partner, because each side came up with plays to swing the momentum their way. Still plenty of time left for either team to come through with a win, though. Can someone else make a similar play and win it for their club? All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. We'll see a return here from the end zone. The Chargers take over first down at their own 20 yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. Flushed out right. And he wisely will throw that one away. So it's on to halftime in this AFC Divisional Round matchup as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Win or go home, that's the name of the game, and we're back underway with the second half of this AFC Divisional round. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. And CD, we are in for a very intriguing second half. This is what we wanted all tied. This is what postseason football is all about. It certainly is. It doesn't speak to the parity in the NFL. Roughly half the teams that made the playoffs a year before missed the next year, get replaced. We know it's an any given Sunday mentality. Nothing's easy in the playoffs. But when you have your shot, they're eager to seize it. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. We know that old expression, it's not my night. 
It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. 43 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. First and 10 at the 47 yard line. Gonna run again here with Pollard. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. And some solid footwork there as he'll take this down to about the 38. That one good for 13 and a Charger first. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 38. It'll be a handoff to Pollard down at the 35. It'll be second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now a give here to Pollard. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. They'll run with Pollard. And some room to run now. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. Give him 15 yards on that one and a charger first down. Offensive line right now really freeing up the rushing lanes on this drive. And we have to give them props. They've earned them. But these big runs that we're seeing, they don't result without everyone else being involved as well. Blocking on the perimeter has to take place downfield too. Tackled by Bradley Chubb, the number five pick in the 2018 draft. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped them. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. The deuce is wild here. Second down and two with just about two minutes on the clock. Pollard. We'll take this into the end zone for a Charger touchdown. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is, I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard charging run, give it right back to him, and let him count things off. So after the touchdown, here's Blankenship kicking off. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And Charles, you and I said in intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored, and now it's up to them to answer. How do they respond here with their first drive of the second half? Well, bottom line is they just saw the ball go in the end zone against their defense, and they saw what good offense looks like. They believe they've got a good offense as well. Run the best plays you've got to the top performers you have and try to move that ball down the field for an answering score. To throw on second and 10. Tua caught by Wilson. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, here comes Mostert. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Again, they'll run it with Mostert. 
And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 47 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position is to actually utilize more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it. But he's a bigger, stronger guy, maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put in. Yeah, didn't get the big yardage there you might out of a smaller back. Looking to throw again on second down. Tua, Wilson's got it complete. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. Back to the running game with Mostert. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. That's second down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Off the play action. Tug of Iloa. Got a man here. It's Wilson. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 20-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here, second and 11. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense put up pressure that time. And sometimes it gets that. You can get out to your running back, and it can turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. And the Dolphins are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Going to the air, tongue of Iloa. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. Two are going to keep on the option. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Two, a tongue of Iloa. Doing it himself from nine yards out. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. 17-17 the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Charger drive about to get going. And as a fan of the NFL, not much more you could hope for in this divisional round matchup. Tie game, fourth quarter. A lot of these fans with their hearts in their throats waiting to see what happens here. The last run got six, now second and four. A run for Pollard. 106 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in this divisional round matchup. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Pollard. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. On second down, it's Pollard. Man, he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. A 
has a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Options galore here, second and a few inches. They'll go again with Dobbins. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, so it was looking good, but nothing there. Now it's third down and inches. And everybody thinking about the possible field goal on fourth. It would be 58 yards from here. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. First and 10 at the 34 yard line. A shotgun handoff to Pollard. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. That play over before it got anywhere, thanks to Christian Wilkins. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Here's Pollard. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. Let's see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. If they get nothing else here on third down, it'd be a 53-yard attempt from this spot. They'll keep it on the ground. Pollard, and he'll be brought down at the 34, well short of the first down marker. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the game. Blankenship's kick is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there. Gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop. They're going to get out of here with a victory. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Well, the football changing hands here as this offense takes a field. Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. Here's second and ten. One final try for Tongue of Iloa. And Wilson with it, complete. And he's in! Are you kidding me? How do you give that up? One of the most improbable ways to finish a game. And they do win it on the final play. And they're moving on to the conference championship. How about this? What a tremendous feeling to get to the game that can get you to the Super Bowl. A fantastic season. Unfortunately for the other team, a tough, tough way for it. Thank mm -hmm. you.